What is up guys, Thaddeus here and in today's video we're going to be going over six things that you guys can use to help optimize your Facebook ads, your ad strategy, how you know narrowing your audiences, how you're you know increasing conversions and overall making more bang for your buck, alright? So we're going to hop right into that. It shouldn't be too long of a video guys but um, let's, that's, that's, you know, I, I go on tangents so we'll see what happens, alright? So number one guys, actually I'm going to share my screen here just because I took notes for you guys. All right guys, so tip number one that I wanna actually show you guys is having some sort of funnel, okay? So basically what that means is like how you actually making sure your ads are being used effectively, okay? So like like for, for a quick breakdown, right? So I wrote here the engagement funnel and VC, which is basically view content funnel. So these are two uh, kind of popular ones you can use to help build out and mature pixel data. Um, essentially what an engagement funnel is, basically you create an ad that's basically the objective is engagement, okay? Now with that ad, you just wanna wait for it to basically get, you know, I don't know, typically when you're starting off, you know, 2,000, 3,000 views, right? If it's a video, something like that. And then from there, what you wanna do is create a traffic or conversion ad, okay? But from that, you're actually gonna tweak it down, narrow it so that you're actually targeting the people who viewed you 25% or more of you know, that video or 50% or more of that video, right? So essentially what you're doing is, is you're narrowing it by people who are actually interested in you know, what you have to say, what your product is, what your offer is, right? So essentially what you're doing is you're making a video ad, all right, just to repeat this to get this in your head, right? You make a video ad based on engagement, okay? You kind of wait for that to actually get some engagement. And then from there, you, narrow, you create an, an additional ad that's basically gonna be like targeting for conversions, basically targeting people who have viewed, you know, X amount of percent of content, right? If they viewed over 25% of the video, over 50% of the video, whatever that is, so that Facebook can actually reach out and be like, okay, these people were actually interested because they actually watched your stuff um, rather than kind of like scrolling past it or just watching it for a few seconds, all right? So that's one thing. And now, the next funnel, right, that you guys can, again, there's lots of different funnels, guys. These are just examples you guys can kind of use to basically have, you know, hey, I have one ad that does this, I have one ad that does this, and it kind of captures the people from that ad, like blah, blah, blah. That's the kind of thing, right? That, that's basically a funnel, guys. It leads, you know, you have one thing that basically attracts new people. You have this other ad that basically attracts the people that were interested in that, like from there. So like. There's a lot of stuff you guys can do. The next one, guys, is the view content ad, or the view content funnel, right? All right, so basically, the view content funnel is essentially, you're creating an ad that is essentially supposed to be driving traffic, okay? Now, what does that mean? So you want, basically, Facebook to kind of find the people interested in like clicking through to your website or just visiting your website, which is basically viewing content, right? That's what it is. You want people to actually view this stuff on your website, okay? So basically, guys, from that, you're gonna create an additional ad campaign that's gonna basically take the people who visited your website from the first view content ad, and you're also gonna create a lookalike audience from the people who visit the website, okay, from there to target for, again, conversions and whatnot, okay? So again, guys, these are different funnels that you guys can use to kind of optimize um, basically who you're sending to your actual website. So it's again, it's funneling people in. So the first ad or whatever it is, even for engagement, view content, whatever it is, it has a broader reach, right? It's getting more people, okay? But then from there, your second follow-up ad is taking, you know, the, that smaller chunk of people that were actually interested in your business, your service, your products, right? And then from there, it's gonna target those people to kind of get them to convert, okay? So ho hopefully that, that kind of makes sense, all right? Now, tip number two for optimizing Facebook ads is ad frequency, right? What a lot of people don't really understand is that most people aren't gonna buy your product, you know, the first time they see it, like right away, okay? So usually you need, you know, a couple impressions so they see it you know, multiple times throughout the day or whatever it is, okay? So basically, there's a very fine line between having way too many impressions where you know, they see it so often that basically they lose interest and now you're just wasting money kind of throwing it in their face constantly versus they only see it once and then they never think of it again, okay? So again, just by tweaking that kind of stuff, guys, you can actually set caps on Facebook, like limits essentially to like how often or how little you want them to see your actual ad or your impressions basically, um, just so that, you know, hey, you don't really, because again, you have to experiment, because I, I, I can't tell you the exact number. I don't know your niche, I don't know your product, I don't know your service, but essentially what you're doing is you're telling Facebook, okay, I want you to actually, you know, only show it to uh, people maybe twice, okay, a day, or whatever it is, right? Just so that Facebook can kind of on analyze. And again, you'll notice when you set these caps, that your price change, right? If you're doing link clicks, if you're, you know, whatever your objective is, having these different kind of barriers and stuff, you'll notice changes in, you know, how much it costs you. Because again, if you're showing people, you know, eight times before you expect them to buy, that could have a huge price difference versus showing them, you know, twice, 
okay? And eight times might be way too much, the way they see it so often that they just don't really care anymore, now you're wasting money, okay? But one time might be too little, where they're only seeing it, you know, again, one time, and then they don't think about it ever again, okay? So again, guys, you want that, you know, that ad recall, um, basically where they, they, you know, they've seen it, they kind of are familiar with what it is, and then you can retarget them and, you know, create more funnels off of that, okay? Now, tip number three, guys, is scaling. Um, basically, how you kind of want to scale with Facebook ads is, you know, say you're testing with a bunch of these different ad sets, these different funnels, right? You want to find, like, the winning one if you're testing, you know, multiple and kind of the same objective or category, okay? And basically, once you find the winning one, you can basically pause the other ones that you were testing with, okay? And then from there, again, guys, I wouldn't really change that winning one, right? Because it's working for you, okay? So don't change it. I would duplicate it and then increase that one's budget by, you know, 20%, okay? And then increase it by 20% every two or three days until you start to see an actual decline in basically the result it's generating you, right? Okay, that, that's one way of scaling, okay? There's another method as well where you guys can basically, you see a winning ad set and then you basically dump a lot of money into it very quickly instead of over time. Um, basically what that's more used for is like trendy stuff. So again, a lot of you guys are drop shipping or e-commerce. If you're on a trend and you want to scale very fast, you find you know the winning ad and then you pump a lot of money into it really quickly and then you basically capitalize you know on that trend, on the hype around it, um, basically just getting you know everyone's attention with that ad, okay? Now, tip number four, narrowing your audience. So using audience insights with Facebook, that's something that a lot of people just don't really know or they don't really go, they don't utilize to you know their best advantage. Because essentially what that is, guys, it's, it's allowing you to look at your potential audiences, who's interested in what your product, service, whatever it is, before you actually start spending money you know, targeting people that you may or may not um, get results with, right? Because again, with